This one seemed like a fun one, so can't wait to try it out and show it off a bit. So this was a fun Snorlax VMAX deck, obviously. Uh, it was a, a winning list, something like that, a while back, uh, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, whatever. And all it is is you just attack. You ha all you need is the energy there to triple acceleration. Give him the buff paddings. And he's a 390 monster that you can constantly heal with Cheryl. And that's kind of thing. You attack. That's all the energy you need just to do enough damage. Heal because those go away. Thus, you don't have to worry about getting rid of energy with Cheryl. She is an amazing card, and phew, I love all the healing power you can do. And then you have Munchlax, Snack Search. You can just sit there and flip, and then you can bring back your triple acceleration energies to reuse again. Cheryl, if you need her, any of these cards, as you can see on there. And it's a Snorlax deck, so you have Snorlax V and VMAX. And you have the amazing Gormandai Snorlax for some draw support. You also have the Pidgey, which becomes the Pidgeotto. And to use Airmail again, we're going to be using Airmail a lot in the coming week. Another fun deck I saw a list of, and it just seemed really fun to do. So it's a, f a pretty neat deck here. Uh, I wish the battles... Oh, of course, we had Zig Zagoon for smash damage, whatever. And Mew to protect your bench. But I wish I could really show off the showcase of this. But it, it, it does show what it can do, which is... An interesting stall. There's a lot of healing and stalling and just... It's pretty cool. Uh, of course, you just saw that the loose Polka Doll is there to help out to you. you got Level Ball. Again, you're using the Snorlax and the Munchlax. And it's pre it works. Munchlax to reuse stuff. You just saw what we had there. The Communications, Quick Balls, Ordinary Rod. Shuffle some of your Fallen Brethren back in. Pow Pad. Uh, power Plant... You have a good stuff there, because you don't really need to worry about your stuff there, so Power Pants good. Switches, Tool Scrapper, a Scoop Up Net to reuse on Zigzagoon or whatever it need be. Bird Keeper for your draw and a lot of switching. You're going to need to switch back and forth. Of course, some Boss's Orders, in case you need to drag something out and stall, or just finish something off that Snorlax can easily take down. He saw the Cheryls, we have the Marnies as well. For Johnson. And, of course, a Phoebe, just because I feel like VMAX is needed in case you need to get around those annoyances to win the game or something. If they're trying to stall as well. Uh, Cynthia and Caitlin, bring back uh, Reuse Energy, uh, your supporters again, maybe Boss, but most likely Cheryl, or who knows what. But Cheryl does so much healing. Boss can stall. You have the triple acceleration. He can always bring back with the Munchlax. It's a pretty fun little idea. And you're using all these Snorlaxes. And Snorlax VMAX is pretty fun and can be tanky. Let's get into some matches here. We got the cute little baby puffs uh, buffs trios. As a coin flip, we won. Hurrah. Hurrah. We got all that here. Bad opening hand, right? <laughs> hey, look at all those nice full arts, though, right? Sheesh. Um, we start off with Mew. It's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. <laughs> um, at least we have the Pidgey. A Poke Dow. You know what? Let's grab him. I feel like we can always get that back if we needed to. I wish I had something for a switch. So we can go right in the Gorman dies. But alas, we just don't have it. So let's go for another Pidgey. And hopefully get something. Of course. So, not the best start. Uh, the only draw supporter we have means we have to discard, but we'll get something back. Hooray, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, luckily enough, we're going against Mad Party. I've enjoyed playing. I wish I need to play it again more often. It, it's just... It, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. But it's just not... I don't know. Lately, but I need to get... Tried some more. It was fun from when I played it the few times. <sighs> Go check my video. I enjoyed playing it. It, was, it, it, it is a good deck.
But I'm rambling again. It looks like uh, we're going to lose Mew. Oh, we're going to lose a Pidgey. That's fine with me. Munchlax has that awesome free retreat, but we're going to go to Lily's Polka Doll. I don't need the buff padding. Um, yeah, they just bossed. Let them boss again. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that so we can get a Pidgeotto next turn. And have fun to... Hey, I... If they can boss me again, and have enough to knock out Snorlax, whatever. But it's going to take a lot. Once it becomes a Snorlax VMAX, it's... I feel like this is a good example of what it can do. Because this can be a pretty powerful deck, but... The Mad Party I'm talking about. But... Eh... He's going to have a lot of HP, and they're not going to be able to do that. They're not going to be able to do 300 plus. And I can just Cheryl, hopefully flip and reuse Cheryl. See what I'm saying? To where they're just going to be trying and trying and trying. And I feel like that's where we're going to be able to go here. <laughs> I mean, we can also... Like... We're going to be able to one-shot them all the time, and they're going to have to two-shot Snorlax VMAX. But if we luck out and get some Cheryl's, they're going to be in for uh Yeah, there's a Cheryl right there. They're going to be in for a sad, sad moment. I Yeah. Let's get another Pidgeotto going. And this is where it's going to kind of really shine here because you know, I might as well get more Pidgeotos. I like Pidgeotto. Poor Pidgeot. Ash leaving him behind. I'll come back for you. Liar. <laughs> uh, I'm still more upset with Squirtle. They had enough. They had enough for that Squirtle squad. You need to get rid of our Squirtle, my boy. Ooh, but anyway, <laughs> all right. Uh, this is where that the deck kind of sh again shows off where it's fun, and you're gonna be like, yeah, they're they're gonna try. I wasn't really gonna. I mean, I guess I could have for two prizes, but. Against this deck, unless I'm going to be able to boss over and over again, which wouldn't even be possible to recycle with much left because I have to attack. <sighs> the focus of this deck isn't really that. Against, like, for me, you need to get rid of these mad party Pokemon that do the attacking. Oh, definitely ourselves another Cheryl going. That's what you need to get rid of. <laughs> See, like, one good thing they can do, too, you know, heal. Look at that. Beautiful. What I can do, too, is if I don't draw into a triple acceleration the next turn, I can hopefully retrieve it. Thanks to Munchlax. Thus, I take that first hit that doesn't knock me out. You, Cheryl, attach the triple, attack. They are really wanting to get... They really don't like my Pidgeotos. <laughs> um, I have to do a smiley face because I'm like, Hey, you saved me a turn from having to use Cheryl... And they're not going to have enough bosses. I feel to really do anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll, we'll just go for it. He can take a hit if I miss out on an energy. We 
at that hand. You just know a Marnie is going to show up, right? Uh, yeah, they're not going to have that many bosses. All right. And that's where we're going to get ourselves a triple acceleration next time. We're going to heal ourselves with Cheryl. We're going to attack. And we're going to be good. <laughs> that's the deck. That's the deck in a nutshell. And it's nice and it works. I do have a special video to show. Whew. It's a long one. This would have been like close to an hour video, which is like, nah, don't really. No one's going to watch that. No one's going to watch this 20 minute video. So, like, but anyone that got this far or 10 minutes in and you're going to hear I me, mean, look at that. I'm just, I'm just going to keep doing this happy face because you're trying, but Cheryl's there to protect the Snorlax. He's there. <laughs> yeah, he's there. Our boy is there. We can just get more draw. We can't. I mean, that's good, though, in case they decide to boss out our Munchlax, because I feel like Munchlax is more of a threat. Then those Pidgeotto. Because Munchlax allows us to get back our triple accelerations. We only have four energy in the deck. Two of them are already in the grave. And Munchlax is like, hey, here you go. For sure, next turn. Start knocking out the opponent stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at theirs. But yeah, it's a, it was a long deck where the, the opponent just kept going. And we just dragged it out because I'm like, do what you want. I'm going to keep healing, recycling back, recycling back. Munchlax was like, recycle back, recycle back, recycle back. And they just couldn't do anything about it. They were persistent. They kept going. And I'm like, dude, I'm healing and constantly bringing back stuff with those coin flips of Munchlax. There, you can't, like, make me deck out and run out of time. So, yeah. It was nice to see. Oh, no, we failed, but... They're down to zero cards in the deck. They attack Snorlax. Yeah, I mean, I, I heal Cheryl again, and it doesn't really matter. I would have, if they attacked, I would have healed with Cheryl and then pass, and yeah. But that's pretty neat with the deck. I love... The deck has, like, two of my... And Munchlax is becoming a nice tech favorite of mine as well. We're slowly waiting for the opponent here. Uh... I'm really enjoying Munchlax, because, it, it, like, for this deck, it it's really helpful. It works, and it's nice for that free retreater, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it's very nice. Um, but it has two of my favorites. Uh, I want to say Pidgeotto's a favorite, but I'm putting... I'm going to honorable mention him for this, along with Munchlax. Those two... Very good cards. I'm going to miss you, Pidgeotto. Two very good cards that deserve this. But in terms of, like, absolute favorite new cards that are out now, we're seeing one of them right now, and that is Snorlax with Gormandize. That card is amazing. I love him. And then the other one is obviously Cheryl. These two cards, I think, are phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. And... What also works is both those cards, even Munchlax now, are great in one of my favorite decks, Orbital VMAX. Just the heal with Cheryl, Snorlax the draw, Munchlax the bring stuff back too. Very, very good stuff. And then how bulky Snorlax VMAX is. Ooh, we're running into a fighting deck. But I love those cards especially. And this and then Orbital VMAX have those two cards in there. Huh. And like I said, Pidgeotto, the airmail, we're going to miss you, boy. Love you. Always had fun with you, especially coming in the deck that had the Needle Queen. Spoilers, that's the deck that I want to show off. I saw that, I'm like, oh, using Needle Queen one last time, that is a brilliant idea. And he used Orbital VMAX with that. So, shout out and credit to uh, who made the deck. Uh, 
And that uh, Needle Queen was always fun. And then using Pidgeot on the deck, it was a it was a fun starter deck. I, I really enjoyed it. Just like the Charizard, I believe that's the Charizard that did the damage counters. That was a good Charizard. And that Rapidash in there was also really good. That was an annoying Rapidash. When I first started the playing PTCGO, I was like, I'll just play this deck for fun. Just the deck itself, and you just want Rapidash. And every turn, you constantly hit heads, and they couldn't do anything, Dan. It's like, nice. <laughs> but I'm rambling again. Let's see how uh, we're going to do against this deck, right? Since we're weak to it. So... The strategy here is going to be make them get rid of all of their ways of retreating and eventually keep someone stuck in that active spot and they can't do anything. Make them use up their energy to retreat, make them not be able to get their energy. Get rid of their, you know, switches. I see because I noticed they already got rid of two switches and we got rid of one uh, tower from the draw. What about Taliban? Now they're out of three switches. They're only going to play... Four, they can only play four switches. Get rid of another one of that for them. They get rid of less... I mean, if they want, draw till they deck out. Because they're already 18 cards left in the deck. We can stall someone out. Drag someone out for the stall. They are going to lose that way. Because... it, And they're going to have to take six hits to win. So... They need six prizes to win. And... Quite honestly, I don't think they're going to play Escape Rope. And I don't... Yeah, see, like, right there, they already don't have anything for Hound Doom to do. I don't know why, but... they didn't. I don't know why they didn't do anything with Hound Doom on that one. But, you know, you know it's, it's weird. We can constantly reuse... See what we can do... Because I'm not going to put Snorlax V, especially Snorlax V Max out there, just for them to boss out and take three prizes. I'm not even going to do it for the Snorlax V to take two prizes. You know, I mean, he's there. But they're going to have to boss get those two prizes. They're already down, a, you know. So I'm thinking. Bait them out, maybe, because they're still going to need a lot of bosses. They're down 14 cards, but I'm still not going to give them three prizes. I believe is what I was thinking here. Maybe have them think, hey. Ah, my chair. Maybe have them think, hey. So we'll draw here. We can draw. We can shuffle back in if we need to. We're not going to deck out as fast as they are. Cheryl. Just to have, make them think. But I'm not going <laughs> to put those two back in. That way we still have more cards. Definitely more cards. Then they're down to 14. Uh, I don't think I want Munchlax to die off. <laughs> hey. Oh, I can, guess I can attack with Pidgeotto if I wanted. I don't see the point of really doing anything. Oh, well. Because wait till I get them the waste. Oh, there we go. There's that. Now they're down to 11. They're going to be really struggling. And I just feel pretty safe. Like, they're not going to have, like, down to 9. They can boss out the Snorlax they want, but I don't think they're going to be able to. They look like they're really searching and trying. Put you here just because I, you know, your free retreat. <laughs> Airmail, let's get some buff padding on there. Why not? Huh. Yeah, get more. Don't really need it. Do that.
do that and we'll gormanize. Now we'll be like, hey, come on, Marnius again. I don't know. But we're doing good because they went through they they went through a lot of it. Hey, I, yeah, I got him the Marnius again. So we have no fear of decking out while they are for sure gonna deck out. By the way they're playing, and then we just drew a dial. I mean they're down two bosses. We just need to get another boss for us. I mean, look at all those Pidgeotto. We're just going to show off these beautiful birds here. Little Pidgeotto boys. They're they, they good birds. They're really good birds. Getting so much energy here. Switch. Can't go wrong with switches. Do one more air mail. Yeah, let's get ourselves some drawn switch if we need to. <laughs> uh, so far, the strategy's working. They went through a lot of their deck. They drew and went through a lot to thin out. To the point where they need three prizes. And here's where we're gonna... Here's where we're gonna... You know. We have the kicker. We can boss out to the point where they can't switch. Or... We can dial over and over and over again. So we can dial and then just put out dial again because we goes back and forth with the dial and the free treat the munchlax. Um, I don't know why they do it. They already have all four out. I'm not following. I guess just for the sake of doing it. But they are down seven cards, and uh, we're just going to hopefully get another Polka Doll. Uh, draw uh, Munchlax into our Polka Doll. And then if they end up, you know, getting rid of anything and everything. There we go. That's the boss. That's boss. That's what we wanted. Now we can reuse stuff. We have the Cynthia and Caitlyn to get back boss again. We got two bosses. We're going to be golden here because they got away so many switches, and they can't. They're going to have to do a lot to attach to the Houndoom since... Their big guys are full of energy right now. They can no longer hound doom the energy onto onto hound doom to retreat or to attack with, because they're already attached. They're gonna have to use up their last switch, I think, unless they already did. And then once that happens, we do it again, and they have no switches. I doubt they have escape rope. And if they do, they're playing one as a tech. Beautiful. I know exactly. We're going for the Dow. This is the strategy to win this one there. Slow and steady wins the race, and that's how this deck really... It's just a tank. You take the hits, you just stall, you heal, you gotta do what you gotta do, and it is showing off exactly what the deck does, and I really like that. See, they still got one switch. I thought so. Whew. But if they use up their last switch, then we boss again, and there we go. That's their last switch. They boss again. The only way they can win now is they miraculously switch, and they boss our Snorlax. I don't see them being able to do that. Because, one, again, we have, we have a dial. Two... We're doing this again. We're going to do that. We're just going to sit there. We, you know, just keep drawing with the Pidgeotto. Get rid of, you know, whatever we need, whatever we don't need. We really don't need to be drawn here. But why not? We are still way ahead of the game for them in terms of not, we're not like, we just need to go six more turns. They are decking out. They're out of switches. You know what I'm saying? They are out of switches. We're going to do this. Tails, ah, uh, well. But, we're seeing the Kaylin get his boss back again. If by some miracle, they... I don't see them doing it. They have full bench. Everything, no, all the energy that they can specially get out is attached already. They're stuck. They can't do nothing. Exactly. Fun deck. That's it. Really is fun when it, especially when it does stuff like this. Hope you like it. Like and subscribe. This has been Professor.
Tschüss.